So, I guess the first thing that I want to do is... Mm, I want to get a bullet journal. <laughs> Now we're getting ready to go. I'm going to run and Zayden's going to bike and we're gonna go get a bullet journal. So let's go. We have a little bit of a situation because there's like the normal ones that are like this. Well, I was gonna get the, the black one, um, which looks like you guys are sitting on them. This. And these ones, wait a second. Why is this one so much more overpriced? This one, wait a second, pause. They're both bullet journals, but why? Oh, I have no idea. Oh, this one literally says bullet journal on it. Never mind. But the dilemma thing is, this one is like black and normal, um, and it's $24, or you can get like the metallic ones, and they're on sale for $21.50, so like, do I want to save that money? I don't know. I don't know, we have to decide, but if I were to get a metallic one, I don't think I'd have a copper. I'd either get the silver one, the gold one, or the black one, so we'll see. And enjoy Zayden in the background. Oh, oh. this on Twitter. This one's so funny. <laughs> Both followers so far. Okay, but it's interesting to have like color, you know? Maybe not gray, because everything I own literally is gray. But I like gray. I would have got the, the dark blue one, but Tina has that one. But then there's green is interesting, I guess, but not. We're gonna get this one done. Let's go. Bro. It's every day, bro. Even though it's a few dollars more expensive, I think it's fine. Hey guys, so I'm home now and I thought I'd show you um what I got from Chapters or Indigo or whatever you want to call it, the bookstore. So, I got my bullet journal, the classic brand, um, and this one has like the index table and it's dotted. So, oh, you can't really see the picture, but I'm going to be opening this tonight and doing a little setup so that should be very exciting. And then, I also got this fun thing, and so he can do his schoolwork um, in it, because he really doesn't like doing his writing, but this way I thought maybe it would be a better way to get him to do it, or maybe it would distract him even more. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> saw um and i've been looking online and stuff the first thing we have to do is um make a key i think that's the main thing so i'm gonna look up some different symbols and stuff or like a legend because i want to make my own but i also want some like ideas because once you make it you can't really switch it so yeah See, I've been working through figuring out ugh, what symbols I like. 
And oh, this is the journal I used before. It has like this, and then you stick it through like that. And it's okay, but I just don't like the way that it's um, lined. So let's make kilometers. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so I figured things out. I realized I was gonna make like a homework one and a task one, and I realized homework is a task, so. Right now I have it narrowed down to this, and I think this is what I'm going to go with. I'm just going to go over it one more time. So yeah. I finally came up with a legend, and this is what it is. I don't think I'm going to put it in my bullet journal yet. I haven't opened it yet. I think I'm going to do that tomorrow, and I'm going to get some real um, pens instead of just the, like this basic ink. I'll show you guys what I mean when I get them, but yeah. Days later, and I'm at the dollar store right now, looking for some good felt pens, or like, fine liners, I can use in my bullet journal, because I don't want to use normal pens. So, yeah, let's take a look. these different types of pens but I don't know which one because I don't want just like a normal type of pen I want to have like the ink type thing and I want it to look really smooth so I don't know if something like this would be good I'm trying to figure it out these ones and the tip is like that it says but then there's also these ones but the tip is like that <laughs> Hi guys, so it's like um, a week later and I'm finally setting up my bullet journal. It's the Lucrum 1917. That's what I'm gonna say. Luke, Luke, Luke term? Yeah. But this is just like, you know, standard bullet journal stuff. And I got some pencils and stuff from the dollar store, but I decided I'd do like a little haul before I start. So first we have these watercolor pencils. So they're pencil grams. They're four dollars. And when you add water, you um they become like uh paints, watercolors. That's cool because it's an easier way to do watercolors and then you also have the pencil crayons. Then I got the fine liners, you know, these are also four dollars. Just the rainbow array. Um, ooh, these ones I got. Brush pens, also four dollars. Um, wait. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Then I went to try doing some cool lettering with that, was it? And then I got, ta-da, just a normal black. Um, 0 0.5 millimeters pens, just for, you know, the normal writing. Yeah, if you guys didn't notice, I cut my hair since the last time. Um, I was making a video, so that's cool. when setting up my bullet journal was trace out my key that I had made about a week earlier with all the symbols. Then I went over it in fine liner and I erased all of the pencil marks. Then I also did a few more kind of calendar type things at the beginning, but I'm just not showing that. Then I did my monthly spread for July just based off of the mandarin doodles, which I had before in the video, and this is how it turned out. I think it's pretty cute. Thank you. 